Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. A virtual town hall for potential claimants in the Flint water settlement is happening tonight. Those who receive notices, their missing documents or other items for their claim have 30 days from the date of their notice to submit them. Attorneys for the class action settlement will answer questions about the notices tonight during a free information session. It started tonight at 630. You can find a link to the meeting in the hot link section of WNEM.com. There will also be meetings on Wednesday, July 24th at 630 and Sunday, July 28th at 3. Midland residents are invited to learn more about plans to prevent future flooding after the 2020 dam failures that submerge parts of the county. Next Monday, Spicer Group will join the City Council meeting to talk about potential infrastructure projects funded by $40 million from the state budget. On July 29th, the City of Midland and the Midland Business Alliance Advisory Committee on Infrastructure will host a virtual town hall. This webinar will cover the current status of the potential projects with a question and answer session. And on Monday, August 19th from 4 to 7, you can join an open house at the Midland City Hall to meet with city staff and engineers from Spicer Group. The $40 million includes $25 million from the American Rescue Plan and $15 million from the state. Still unfolding efforts to create a registry for animal abusers. The Protect My Pet initiative has advanced in the Michigan legislature. It needs to pass both chambers before the governor could approve or veto it. After that, it's up to voters to decide on the November ballot. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson and the Protect My Pet team helped lead the charge. The registry would be similar to the sex offender registry with temporary placement on the registry with the person's name, picture and crime. According to the Protect My Pet team, animal cruelty has links to domestic and child abuse. Now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. David, our weekend forecast looks pretty good. Saturday and Sunday, both days expecting plenty of sunshine. Temperatures right around the low to mid 80s. Your first alert pinpoint Doppler radar also shows a lot of the showers and thunderstorms from earlier this afternoon have now started to move out as well. A few more are possible before the night is completely over, but the cold front getting farther and farther away and the disturbance that passed through today also starting to move out. Your hour by hour forecast into Thursday shows tomorrow plenty of sunshine, perhaps a few fair weather clouds in the afternoon. Other than that, should be a beautiful day and we expect to remain comfortable. We'll start the day in the 50s, eventually landing in the 70s for the afternoon. Your TV5 first alert seven day forecast shows we do warm back up by the weekend. We'll stay in the low 80s early next week. Small chance for rain on Monday gradually climbing to the 30% range on Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.